Hi everyone, I'm Ryan Alice, and I'm doing a video project on all that I've learned by age 28. Now I'm going to talk about step three in the 10 step process to building a company from startup to a million dollars in sales, and that is to determine your motivation. So here's my motivation. Over the decades ahead, I hope to be part of creating a sustainable world in which every human being has access to opportunity. And to have access to opportunity, you need access to your basic human needs, food, water, shelter, medicine, internet access, sanitation, and the ability to just achieve anything you set your mind to. So for me, I found that my motivation is creating a better world. And I think it's important for you to take time to think about what drives you. There are many different motivating factors at work in your own self and in this many other people. So I think a great exercise to do to think about drive and the, the thing that's going to give you the motivation to get through any challenges ahead in building a business is to think about what you want your epitaph to say. Now, let's say that you die 20, 30, 50, 70 years from now, whenever it may be. What do you want the words to be inscribed? What do you want the words on your tombstone to say, your epitaph? And so just an example, when I went through this exercise, what I wrote down is that I would like the, these, these words, these final words to say, Ryan was a great man, husband and father, an entrepreneur, leader and humanitarian who led organizations and built technologies that advanced equality of opportunity globally. Once I went through that exercise and I combined that with my life goals, with my vision board, with my bucket list, with my life purpose statement, I was able to really focus on fo my t focusing my time to be able to make this a reality. And I encourage you to go through an exercise like this. And if you haven't seen the section of this presentation on goals, section one and part one, definitely take a look at that. So for me, I found my motivation. And now I'm working on building a company that directly aligns with my goals to make the world a better place. After I sold eye contact in February 2012 to Vocus, after a couple months of continuing my final contract with the new acquirer, I had a choice between moving out to California and starting a new company or moving to, say, New York City and working on uh, investing in companies around the world. I've been passionate about investing in companies in East Africa in particular for the last three years through my angel investment fund, Humanity Fund. And my plan actually at the time was to live in New York for the summer, spend a lot of time in Africa, and find investment opportunities, potentially even work at a private equity fund to find companies to invest in. After going through the Singularity University Executive Ed Program for four days in April 2012 here in Mountain View, California, I decided that instead of doing that for this summer before I went off to business school, I would spend the summer building a new company. On day two of Singularity University, I got an idea to create a map that enabled you to visualize your contacts coming from multiple different locations, whether they be coming from Facebook or LinkedIn or Google Plus or Twitter or your iPhone or your Gmail address book. And so what we're doing at Connect is building a company that brings together information that allows you to visualize your contacts on a map of the world. And we're primarily building the software for touch devices, particularly tablets and smartphones. And so our mission at Connect is to build a platform to organize human relationships for the touch generation and in turn hopefully make the world more open and connected. It will probably take a good decade before we're able to even begin to make a true dent in this motivating mission, but for me, it's what I'd like to do. Now, I'm going off to Harvard Business School actually later on this week um, in order to really learn what, everything I need to learn and build amazing connections to be able to build Connect into amazing business in the years ahead. Regardless of your mission, you need to find a mission that you're deeply passionate about. And now that I've found a mission that I'm deeply passionate about, I know that I will be able to return to the West Coast and hopefully build Connect into a successful company in the future. Regardless of the mission, find something you're passionate about and build a business to pursue the shit out of it. By starting with the end in mind, you can ensure that what you're planning for today and what you're building for the next few years will enable you to create the opportunities that allow you to fulfill your highest ambitions. At your funeral, how will those closest to you describe you? What will you have done? What will your accomplishments be and what will your plans and directions end up taking you toward? And how will you be able to do anything you choose? So one day, your life will be over and you'll look back on it and you'll have an opportunity to think about the people you met, the memories you made, 
and the change you made in the world. And I encourage you to take the time before you start your business and really figure out the change you wish to make in the world. And once you figure that out, if building a company is one way that you can actually make that change a reality, then I encourage you to build a company that aligns what you love and what you do. So for me, finding my core motivation to be part of creating a world without poverty, to be part of creating a world which, in which everyone has access to opportunity, almost 10, now, actually 10 years ago now at 18, it's been critical to helping me get through the difficult and challenging times. In any business, you're gonna go through immensely challenging operational struggles, very difficult times, and finding the strength from within to persevere in the face of generally insurmountable odds can only come if your motivation is authentic and real and deep. You can't build a business just for the pursuit of money because money alone will not give you enough motivation to get through the decade necessary to really build a company that can make a difference in the world. So spend some time thinking and meditating on your raison d'etre, your purpose of life, your reason for living, and figure out what constitutes the core motivations for what you do and the core motivations for who you are and who you will become. Know in advance who you want to become, and then you can begin to direct your life rather than letting outside factors control you. Direct your life to your definite chief aim, as Napoleon Hill said in his 1928 book, Think and Grow Rich. Let who you are and what you believe come out in all that you create. And as you find this motivation, as you figure out what you're passionate about, as you write down your goals and print them, as you write down your life purpose and you determine the change you seek and then start a company to make that real, your life will be transformed. And your ability to be a powerful person that can, is internally aligned and can make a big difference in the world ahead will greatly amplify. Thank you for watching this section on finding your entrepreneurial motivation.